Oh damn, I love this song. Here comes the best part. You're just trying to make yourself feel better about my attack Eat last time. Stop oh, come like on! Are they arguing again? On the cars, it's real. Heavy, I swear! You're a big cheat, you anchor! Heavy is not cheating! Card literally says right here. You take 500 points of damage per standby phase. What the fuck? You're making it up. That's not even a thing! Yes, it is! Standby phase is phase that occurs after your draw phase. You have 400 life points left. Nightmare will cook the last 500? Therefore, Heavy wins the duel! Fine, whatever. I give up. Fuck this stupid game. What the hell happened here? Why is Sniper so upset? Did you not hear the conversation, Scout? Sniper lost a duel against Heavy and now Sniper is pissed off. It's kind of his fault for not remembering about the standby phase, though. They literally went over the rules before they started dueling, too. Well, you ain't wrong. But it's also just because he lost the duel, really. Even if he remembered. Nightmare we would have finished him off anyway. Anyway, Scout, how many of them did you get this time? Oh, the blue team? Yeah, I got the demo and sniper, then the soldier hit me with a crocket. Random crit to my right. Anyways, I'm done for the day. I'm real tired. Hey, Scout, do you want to do heavy? Heavy has new practice deck I've been working on and I want to see how good it is. Do you? Yes, you are heavy. I'd love to see what kind of deck you got. Well, you boys have fun with that. I need to tune the teleporter for tomorrow to make sure it works. Right, and I need to make sure I have enough syringes as well. Okay, see you guys tomorrow then. All right, heavy, ready to duel? Yes, Scout! Let us duel! Okay, now where did I put my bonk? Oh, hey, Spy, have you seen my bonk? I can't find it anywhere. Oh, no, I haven't. I'm surprised you're even up this late. Yeah, well, I'm just looking for my drink. Oh, hey, by the way, Heavy and I were dueling with his new deck. He's pretty good, not gonna lie. I'm impressed with his dueling. Hey, Spy, I'm sorry for asking, but I really gotta know. Why did you stop dueling? You said you were a Duel Monsters champion at one point, right? Why does that matter? Why do you care? Oh, come on, Spy, it's just a question. I'm just curious is all. Curiosity kills the cat, you know, Scout. Now go away! I'm trying to enjoy my evening! Oh come on, Spy! Just tell me please and I promise this will be the only time I ask you! I will never ask you for anything about it again! If you promise to go to bed right after, then fine. I'll tell you. Yes, I was. I didn't think much of it other than it being a hobby of mine. I first found out about Duel Monsters through my friend. One day, he asked if I wanted to come and watch a tournament. I didn't have too many friends back then, so I was kind of desperate for something fun to do with someone. I accepted his invitation. When I got to that stadium, I wasn't expecting much of it. But then, I saw something remarkable. Something that awoke an inner challenger within me. Something that would spark my interest to compete and to have fun. Whether I won or lost, it was dual monsters. Watching these monsters clash in a battle of power was like nothing I had ever seen before. I remember seeing the duelists and feeling their energy and passion poured into their battles. That's all over for you. Now, my Thunder Dragon attack his life points directly. No, no, this cannot be. How could I lose? No, no, no. I was captivated by their energy, their desire to duel for fame and glory. But most of all, I could see they were having fun. Fun. Something I didn't have much of considering I didn't have many friends. That was the day I decided I was going to play Duel Monsters and start my own journey. I just wanted to make friends and have fun playing this new game I found. Before long, my skills became known throughout my town. I started to meet new people and bond with them over Duel Monsters. Eventually, I would work my way up and become the best duelist in France. Then, after several tournaments won and many opponents defeated, I decided to put away my deck for good. I needed to focus on my life and my future. More time passes, and here I am. A mercenary. Well, Scout, there you go. Now please, leave me alone and go to bed. Well, Spy, that's incredible! What happened to all of your friends you met? They moved on. Haven't spoken to any of them in a long time. Man, that's so cool! Spy, you practically have an anime protagonist backstory. It's so cool! Yes, yes, Scout! Very nice! Now, I will not ask again. Please leave me be.
Okay, okay, I hear you, I'm going. Good night, spy. Say, spy, one more thing, then I promise I'll go. Before I go to bed, I want to duel you. Do not be upset, scout. Just go to bed. Oh, what's the matter, spy? You afraid you'll lose? No, I'm just afraid of waking everyone else up. Plus, it would be a waste of my precious time. Come on, spy. Please, just once. I want to see you in action. I want to see what this deck of yours was able to do. Show me why they called you the champion. Scout, you are annoying me more than I would like to cope with right now. I will ask you one more time. Go. To. Bed. Damn, looks like you're a real chicken. Imagine what my mom would think when she hears a man acted like a coward in front of her own son. You can't even try to dig up a little bit of that competitive spirit to pick on little Scatterhop. You're not a real man, spy. You're a disgraceful, Colin. You are seriously trying to pick a fight with me, Scout? Do me! Then when I crush you, I will go to bed. I promise! You are going to regret your choice of words, Jeremy. Large luxury room. Two minutes. Alright, boys. I'm gonna make this very clear. It's way past my bedtime. So make this a quick duel so I can go back to my beauty sleep. I'm terribly sorry Scout woke you up, Engie. I'll end this quickly so we can all go to sleep. Get ready to get decimated, spy! You ready to feel my thunder? I was having a peaceful night, and you ruined it. You are going to regret picking a fight with me, Scout. Game, Game on. on! Watch me go! Oh yeah! Get ready for the best opening move you ever see! First I activate my ancient rule spell card! This lets me summon a high level monster without sacrificing! Now come on out! Cosmo Queen! Stand yet? What well, you're about to be! Next I activate my polymerization! With this, I will combine my Dark Blade and my King of the Swamps in my hand! Now normally I wouldn't need Pitch Dark Dragon to summon you know who, but thanks to my King of the Swamp special ability, he can act as a substitute for a fusion material I am missing. Now come for it, Dark Blade the Dragon Knight! Oh, but I'm not done! Now I activate my Graceful Charity spell card. This lets me draw three cards in the discard of them. Spy, you are not ready for this! Guess what? I have another Ancient Rules spell card! I'll use this new Ancient Rules spell card and summon my last mighty beast of my field. I summon my Trihorn Dragon! Scout just summoned all three of his strongest monsters on his first turn. Looks like he wants to end this quick. Boom! Look, Spy, you ain't gonna win now. Not while I have these three badasses on my side of the field, but I won't drag on for too long, so I end my turn. I was wondering if you would ever finish. There won't be a next turn. I'm ending this now, Scout. You're bluffing, Spy. Just hurry up so I can end this. All on Scout. Just so you know, I tried to warn you. First, I shall play my magical merit spell card. With this spell card, I can take a number of cards from my hand, shuffle them back into my deck, and redraw the same amount of cards I discarded. In other words, anything I don't need, I can send back into my deck for a chance to get something better. Ooh, yeah, you're real scary. Next, I will activate my own graceful charity, which, as you stated, lets me draw three cards in exchange for discarding them. Now, let's get to business. First, I will call upon my cannon soldier in attack mode. Really? That machine against my monsters? Come on, Spy! I think you were lying when you said you were a champion. Next, I will activate my premature burial spell card. Now, by giving up 800 life points, I can revive a monster from my graveyard and equip it with this card. Right up, cannon soldier. Then I shall activate my living fossil spell card. This revives another monster from my graveyard, but it loses 1,000 attack and has its effects negated. I call upon my third cannon soldier. Wow! Three incredibly weak monsters. I'm so scared, spy. Now then, time for the fun to begin. I activate mini guts. With this spell card, by tributing one of my soldiers, I can reduce one of your monster's attack to zero. What? Zero attack points? Oh shit, I'm in trouble! Indeed! I sacrificed one of my cannon soldiers. Now, Dark Blade the Dragon Knight, power down! Now, cannon soldier, attack his Dragon Knight, Cannon Buster! God damn it, no! My Dragon Knight! It's not over yet, Scout! 
When a monster affected by miniguts is destroyed in battle, you take damage equal to that monster's attack points. On the way, come on, come on! <laughs> Next, I will activate my scapegoat magic card. This card summons three goat tokens to my field, but they won't be around for long, Scout. Time to end this. I activate my cannon soldier's special ability by tributing any number of monsters on my side of the field. I can deal 500 points of damage to you for each one. So by tributing my other cannon soldier as well as all three of my goat tokens! That's for monster stuff it means! Four times 500 points of damage! That makes... Ah, oh, crap. Like I said before, I tried to warn you, Scarlet. Goodbye. Spy finished the duel with his first turn. That's mighty impressive there. Now, if you will excuse me, I am going to get my rest I was promised. Good night, gentlemen. Holy crap, that was so cool, Spy. You literally yes, yes, finished Scout, me off please. in one turn. I, I mean, that's impressive. Yeah, I don't think Scout. I've ever seen anything Scout. out. Shut up. Go to bed this instant. But I mean, come on. That was awesome. No wonder you're the champion of France. You've got to duel with us a lot. Absolutely not, Scout. Now go to bed right now. But why, Spy? It's fun. It could be a great way to unwind. What happened to that challenger spirit? What happened to you? What happened to me? I'll tell you what happened, Scout. I grew up. I grew up, Scout. I'm not a kid anymore. I enjoyed it while it lasted, but I cannot play card games for the rest of my life. I'm a mercenary now, and that's all I need to be. I quit doing it a long time ago. You have to accept that, Scout. We cannot stay young forever. Spy, please! Good night. Come on, son. We need to get rest for tomorrow. Just let him go. And that, boys, is the story why I will never use Twitter again. I'm surprised it took that much for you to quit Twitter. The moment I got a death threat from a random stand or anti for absolutely no reason, I just logged out and never used it again. Harry doesn't even use today's social media. Prefer to stick to writing letters to friends and family. I can't say I'm too surprised with that. It can be slow and tedious, but at least it's a relaxing way to communicate with faraway loved ones. This is taking forever! Engineer, what's bloody taking so long? I don't know, boys. The radar isn't picking up any signs of bots on the move. We should have at least caught wind of them by now. Do you think they're attacking a different location? It's possible, but that would take them weeks. Saxon specifically told us that their next attack target was gonna be here in Cold Town. Will we bloody know he ain't lying to us? So maybe they called off the attack. I don't know, boys. It's possible, but keep an eye out. Contact me if you see anything at all. My lad, we'll keep you posted. This doesn't make any sense. They were supposed to attack today, and it's already the middle of the afternoon. This is concerning. It's not like Grey Man to just call off an attack. Even when he always fails, he doesn't give up. He's persistent. Yeah, it's not his usual strategy. Maybe he's changing it up to lower our guard. Well, if that's his plan, he's failing miserably. If anything, I am more suspicious. Either way, all we can do at the moment is watch the radar and listen out for the others to give us a heads up. Still though, it's a bit concerning. Sniper, maybe head on up there and keep a bird's eye view on the whole area. Sure thing. What if Grey Man is making something big? You know, like a huge weapon or something. Maybe he's trying to make us lower our guard for a huge robot to show up or something. But I infiltrated one of their labs the other day and on the computers I navigated through, I did not see a plan for a robot or weapon that massive. Still, let's keep our guard up. It may be tiring, but we gotta protect the base, boys. Man, it's pretty boring when I've got nothing to kill. Oh well, might as well stroll through Twitter. Oh hey, Sniper, thought you were bored and could use some company. Scat, what the hell are you doing up here? This is my position. Medic told me to come on up here and keep you company. Oh, well fine I guess. Anyways, I was just on Twitter and you wouldn't believe what I saw. So basically... <laughs> Scream came from Sniper's Watchtower! Oh no! Sniper just went down on files! Red alert boys! Sniper is down! Sniper is down! There must be a robot spy in the base! No other robots are stealthy enough to get by our defenses! We must help Scout, Spy, and Engineer! Hold it heavy! If we separate, the Spy could be around any corner at any time! What if we go in groups? 
Soldier and I will head for the armaments and make sure the spy doesn't sabotage our weapons. You and Heavy head back down to the main lounge with the others. Please don't come on, medic. Let's find that metal monster. Let's move it, Demo. We need to hurry. Angie, keep your shotgun loaded. I'm going to search for in the dark. I'll check the living quarters, Barrow and Scout. Stay here and guard the lounge. All right, Pyro, be on guard. The spy could be anywhere around here. We can't let him catch anyone else off guard. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. Say, Pyro, do you like dual monsters? You want that for either of my duels with Soldier, but I was just curious. Do you like it? Okay, because I didn't understand a word you said, I'll take that as a yes. Fantastic. Okay, well, let me tell you about it. So basically, a long time ago, ancient Egyptians played a game of great and terror. No sign of the spy in the living quarters. Any luck, boys? No sign of the spy, guys. The weapons in the armament seem to be safe. Magic and heavy out here. No sign of the spy anywhere. I could not find the spy either. Scout, Pyro, what about you guys? Did you guys find the spy? Oh, I kind of forgot we were looking for it. I was talking to Pyro about dual monsters. What in Sam hell, boy? There's a robot spy in the base and one of our teammates is dead. And you're talking about card games. Wait a minute, Devil Man, where is Soldier? What the fuck? He was literally just behind me. <laughs> what was noise? <laughs> Everyone, the main screen. <laughs> Do not fear. The spy that was once present in your base has since retreated. It's done its job of getting your attention. And now that I have it, I can finally say what needs to be said. Multiple bombs have been planted within your facility. Bombs will explode in exactly one hour if you do not come outside and face me. Gray man knows the last of the Capri Santa within your- Wait a bloody minute! Is Gray man seriously attacking us? Just for those damn drinks! Did you ever wonder why Capri Sun went out of business? Capri Sun Company trucks and factories were in the way of Greenland's plans. Naturally, groups of robots would be able to destroy them. But that wasn't enough for Grey Man. Being so mighty that he is, he decided to completely cut off all supply of ingredients needed for making Capri Suns. Thus preventing Capri Sun production. But he knew he couldn't reach them all. When Capri Sun finally went out of business, the masses purchased every last product they could get. Until recently, when he did one scan and found what remaining case of Capri Suns in your gloomy base. Why does it matter to Green Man so much? It's literally a simple drink. How bad could it be? So long as the recipe for Capri Suns is out there, Capri Sun can come back at any time, and Green Man will take any step to ensure Capri Sun is gone for good! Wait, Capri Sun can come back? Guys, do you know what this means? The last case we have has the ingredients on it. Even if we can't revive the company, we can still make more of them. We have the money and the resources, and imagine what would happen if we sold the Capri Suns. We could become filthy rich! Green Man will not allow you to let those Capri Suns! In exactly one hour, bombs will detonate and destroy the Capri Suns! Your base! And all of you Manco scumbags! Oh, I'm not trying to set the bombs with your gadgets! They will not work! The only way to disarm bombs is to defeat me! Bring it on then! We've destroyed so many robots in the past decade and a half! What makes you think you're any different? Now, you must defeat me in Duel Monsters! Oh. Oh. Why do you think I come on on? Greyman specifically programmed me for dealing with Duel Monsters! Greyman wants satisfaction for defeating you in your favorite game! Are you fucking serious right now? The old hag attacked our base, killed Sniper, and set up bombs just to play a fucking card game! Calm down, Demo Man. There's nothing we can do about it now, okay? I'll duel you. I'll win and save our base in the Capri Suns. You accept a challenge? Good. Meet me outside at front gate in one hour. When you're all finished. <laughs> Scout, are you absolutely sure about this? Come on, Spy, what else are we supposed to do? We destroy him with guns, like we always have. I don't know, Demo Man. That is usually our plan. 
but Green Man has set things up differently this time. If we break his rules, it might cost us. What do they cost us? The Capri Suns? Who fucking cares if they're gone? The Capri Suns can burn for our care. I'm gonna be man, burn up right have now. you forgotten that entire base is filled with bombs? You know, if you blow him up, you blow us all up in our base. You can hate the Capri Suns, but this is our home. If that thing detonates the bombs. Not okay. I get it. The entire base is at stake. Tom is running out, boys. If we don't get to that thing in time, we're all doomed. Scout, go get your deck ready and meet us outside when you're all set. Be quick, son. Okay, we'll do. I'll find Soldier on my way up there and bring him to you guys. Scout, take this card. You're going to need it. Oh, thanks, Spy. Anyways, I'll join you guys in a bit. Oh, hey, Soldier. There you are. Where have you been? Oh, hello, Scout. I kind of got lost here in the armaments. Well, anyways, come on, didn't you hear the giant robot talking on the main speakers? We all gotta head for the front gate. I gotta defeat that robot in a duel. I heard the robot scout, but I do not care. I am going to sit here. We're all doomed anyway. Soldier, are you okay? Why do you seem so depressed all of a sudden? Think about it, scout. If I hadn't grabbed those Capri Suns back at the store with Heavy, none of this would be happening. We wouldn't have Capri Suns in our base. And because of that, Raymond wouldn't be planting bombs all over our facility because of my selfishness and my greed. My friends and comrades are going to die. Soldier, I admit you were greedy before, but you've changed. Just look at yourself right now. You're showing compassion, and you really care about us as a team. You were greedy in the past, big deal. We gotta move forward and make everything we can out of what we have now. And right now, I need your help. How am I able to help you at all? You heard the robot. It wants a duel, not a gunfight. Haven't you watched Duel Monsters on television, soldier? Let's team up! Let's form a tag team and take down this monster with our decks combined! There's no way we can lose! I don't know, Scout. What if it just makes things worse? How could they be worse? You and I are unbeatable! Didn't Spy defeat you in one turn last night? What the fuck? <laughs> Spy told you about that! I swear when I get my hands on him- Hey, Scout, you've convinced me! Wait, really? You're in then? You're right, Scout. I need to make the most of what I have right now. If there is even a small chance of saving everyone, I need to take that chance. All right, soldier, let's go. We're the only ones that can stop this machine. Let's go, Scout. Everyone is counting on us. Giant robot, we are here. I see you all have come. Now where are your tourists? They'll be here shortly, Tin Can. And when they get here and turn you to scrap, I'm gonna use your parts for my projects. I should bloody destroy you right now, you metal scumbag! Go ahead and try them! Destroy me and you destroy your entire base! It's not worth it, Demo Man! Demo Man, do not worry! Scout knows a lot about two monsters! Have you sure that you can win? Guys, we're here. Sorry we took so long. Soldier Lot, there you are. What happened? Oh, I kinda got lost in the armaments. How did you get lost? We've been living here for so long. You know, Soldier, he always has a few loose screws in his head. <laughs> <laughs> that is enough of your bickering. You be scout man, let us do. Change of plans. Soldier's going to duel with me. We've decided to form a team. Wait, Soldier is going to duel too? If you decline, it just shows how much of a coward Grey Man really is. So go on then, let's do this. Very well. Uni Red Scout and Soldier will go together against me. If I win base and cap three sons are destroyed. If you win, then you all have to fight another day. Come on, boys. You guys got Let this. Let him have it. Crush him into the ground. Show them who's boss. Do not disappoint us, you two. I shall lay down some grand rules first. Since this is a two-on-one duel, you two shall start with 4,000 life points like any normal duel. But I will start with double that. A thousand! Also, nobody can attack on their first turn. Are we clear? Sounds good to me. Bring it on, Metalhead! Get your game on, Tin Can! Because you can't defeat men in his own game! Prepare to face your final battle! Let's duel! Time to crush some robots! My turn! I activate my polymerization spell card. With this, I'll combine my Dark Blade with my Pitch Dark Dragon in my hand. Come out, Dark Blade the Dragon Knight! I'll lay one card face down and end my turn. I crush robots almost every day of the week and you will be no different. Now it's my turn. I activate my Costume Magic card. For this turn, this card reduces the levels of all monsters in my hand by two. 
So with that, I summon my mighty and righteous judge man. I will lay one card face down and end my turn. Both Scout and Soldier managed to summon some of their best monsters on their first turn. Looks like they want to end this quick. Very good! Oh, so you managed to summon a good front line, Gold. Rayman promised me a challenge and that's exactly what you better be. It is now my turn, watching her in the way of machine. Mocking a soldier. Deploy and attack both. Mountain a soldier has a special ability! Run deployed onto the field! I can deploy one more mountain into my field! Mountain a metal cruncher! Deploy in attack mode! The robot's new monster is strong enough to destroy both Dark Blade and Judge Man! Metal Cruncher's ability will now activate! I will show you both three out the three big monsters from my deck! You will pick one to add to my hand, and the rest will shuffle back into my deck. Earth oh, attribute? What does that even mean? Every monster in Dual Monsters has an attribute. Think of it like it's elemental type. For example, that blade is a dark attribute monster and Judge Man is an Earth attribute monster. Now choose, baby man! Pick card to add to my hand! Well, Soldier, that one is a high level. Let's not pick that one. I think we'll choose the one on the far right. It's only level two. How strong could it be? Very well, I shall add this card to my hand. Now, since it's still my first turn, I am unable to attack. Sit the card to then my turn. Time to take action. Your Metal Cruncher may be stronger than my Dark Blade, but your Soldier sure is. Dark Blade, attack mark and a Soldier, Dark Twister Strike. Wake Scout without his face down cards. It is too late. Activate trap! Mocking Overdrive! Mocking Overdrive is trap that lets me destroy one of my monsters with Mocking in its name! In exchange, I get to summon a new Mocking a robot to the field! Did by Mocking a soldier! Mocking a peacekeeper deploying defense mode! Well, I may not be able to deal damage, but swapping your monsters is gonna cost you because I can still destroy that little robot. Dark Blade, continue your assault! Foolish baby man, when mocking the Peacekeeper is destroyed, his special ability activates. Now I can take one Union monster from my deck and add it to my hand. I shall add mocking a gear frame to my hand. You may have protected your life points this time, but I won't back down. I'll summon my Alien Shock Trooper in defense mode and end my turn. My turn! First I will summon my dynamite dragon in attack mode! Next, I will activate my lightning blade spell card. This card can be equipped to my judgment and give him an additional 800 attack points. Soldier has enough attack points to destroy the mental cruncher! Go get him, soldier! Judgman, let's give this robot a court ruling. Attack muck in a metal cruncher. Activate trap card nightmare wheel. No, my judgman. Your judgman is now ensnared in the pain of his nightmare wheel. Judgman can no longer attack or change his battle board. And every time he is out on the field, you lose 500 life points. Oh no, this isn't good. So long as my judgment is out on the field, my life points are in trouble. I guess all I can do is end my turn. My turn once again! And with one doggy on my leash, there is just one more to take care of. Keep away from my Dragon Knight, you rust bucket! Mark in a gear frame! Deploy an attack mode! Mark in a gear frame's special ability allows him to act like a spell card and equip him to one monster on my field. Gear frame! Words with Metal Cruncher! A monster that can also be an equipped spell card. What does it even do? You'll find out soon enough! Until then, I have a puppy to put down. Metal Cruncher! Attack Dark Blade the Dragon Knight! Crush him to bits! Not so fast, buddy! Go Trap Card! Covering Fire! What is this? A trap! You betcha! Covering fire takes the attack points from one of our monsters and adds them to my Dragon Knight. Now, I could add my Shock Trooper's attack points, but I think I'll use Judge Man's instead. Never move, Scout! And since my Judge Man has 3,000 attack points, Dark Blade's new attack points are 50 to 100. More than enough to obliterate that Metal Cruncher. These two are really pulling it off. Show them how it's done, boys. Dark Blade, fight back with your new power. Destroy Metal Cruncher! <laughs> We 
wait a minute, why was the metal cruncher destroyed? Yeah, what the hell? It should have been reduced to rubble. Foolish flesh bags! It takes more than that to destroy my machines! When a monster with mocking a gear frame attached to it would be destroyed, I can sacrifice gear frame to save that monster. My gear frame may be gone, but my metal cruncher lives to fight for another turn. I set one card and then burn. With a little bit of damage done and your monster weakened, it's all chance to strike now. My turn! First I'll play my Bird of the Mighty spell card. This spell card stays on the field and reduces all your monster's attack points by 100 for each level it has. Since your Metal Cruncher is level 9, it loses 900 attack points. Perfect! Now Dark Blade has the attack points to crush Metal Cruncher, and without that gear frame, he cannot save it! Exactly! Next you'll switch my alien shock trooper to attack mode! Now I'm in my Dragon Knight, let's end that Metal Cruncher of his! Attack or Dark Twister Strike! Trap card activate! Mirror Force! Oh no! Mirror Force! That card is a classic! Mirror Force destroys all monsters on Scout Spear when his monster attacks! Say goodbye to all of your monsters, Pinny Red Scout! I don't think so, Tin Can. I have a trap card too. The wire tap. What is this? My wire tap trap card is activated when another trap is played. Now that trap card is rendered useless and is shuffled back into your deck. <laughs> Dark Blade, finish your assault. Destroy it. The metal cruncher is beat! Very good! Try it off! Lads! Hey lads! It's showing him who's boss! Keep this up, boys, and we'll all be back in the base sipping on Capri Suns in no time. I'm not done. My alien trooper has it and is turning it. Attack that bucket of bolts directly. Sweeping slash shock attack! Your life points are already more than halfway depleted than me and Scout still have half a thousand life points. You might as well give up now, Metal Face. You think you have defeated me? Destroying one of my mocking units means nothing. This is just the beginning of the pain I will bring upon you. We'll see about that. It's my turn now and I will attack with... Ah! Do not forget, Red Soldier. Nightmare Wheel is in play. And since it is now your turn, you'll lose 500 life points. Soldier, are you okay? It was just a small pinch, I'm fine. Anyways, I will now switch time on my dragon to attack mode and attack you directly. Just 1300 life points left, you guys. You're almost there. I may not be able to attack with Judge Man, but I am still standing. I will lay one card face down and then my turn. You foolish humans made the mistake of underestimating me, and now you will pay the price. I activate my Pot of Greed spell card. This lets me draw the cards from my deck. Wait, what does Pot of Greed do again? That joke isn't funny anymore, Nick. Next, I will activate my Machina Redeployment spell card. Now by discarding one card from hand, I can add the Machina monsters from my deck to my hand. Next. I will discard Machina Radiator from my hand so I can summon this! Machina Fortress! Deploy an attack mode! Machina Fortress can be summoned without a sacrifice so long as I discard monsters equal to its level! Next, I will take over the floor of this door in this spell card! I activate Machina Defense Perimeter! What in Sam hell was that? Look! There is something coming out of the ground! Now we play this game by my rules! Mocking a defense perimeter is a spell card that gives me a special defense. When I control a level 7 or higher monster, none of your monsters can attack any of my monsters that are level 6 or lower. Furthermore, you cannot affect any of my mockings with your puny magic and trap cards. And finally, if any of my Machina monsters are destroyed in battle, I get to add a new one to my hand from my deck. Soldier, this isn't good. Now the only monsters we can attack are his... His strongest monsters. Yes, Scout, I see the card. We'll have to think of something fast. You won't have the time. Now then, 
Master the fortress! Attack Red Scouts! Dragon Might! Let's try this again! Don't forget, Metal Face! With my blade of the mighty spell card out, your fortress loses 800 attack points and doesn't have enough have to destroy Have you not been my... listening, Scout? His defense perimeter is still in play! Your spells and traps won't work on any of his machinas! That's enough bickering! Finish him off! God damn it, no! Not my Dragon Knight! And that's the puppies put down! Your strongest monsters of history! I am my turn! You're gonna pay for that soon enough! I'll switch my alien shock trooper to defense mode. Then I'll play my summoner monk in defense mode and end my turn. Looks like scout and soldier are in a pickle. They'll have to play defensively until they can come up with something. But with the robots' life points really low, all they need is one good hit and they are victorious! It won't be that easy. It certainly seems tight, but how hard can it be? Very hard, actually. You all see. The Machina archetype of cards in this game are a force to be reckoned with. Their entire strategy focuses on sacrificing the weaker machines for more powerful ones while keeping their opponents away. Most players overlook the archetype nowadays simply because their playstyle is too slow. But as you know the saying, slow and steady wins the race, but the Machina is taken a step further. With just one good turn, an opponent will be rendered powerless and will suffer the incinerating wrath that is the Machina's. How great man got such a powerful deck of cards is beyond me. Are you saying Scout and Soldier can't win? I'm not saying they can't win, but they need to play cautiously, or they will never play again. It is now my turn! <laughs> Do not forget about Nightmare Will Red Soldier! I didn't forget. Now then, first I will summon my Blizzard Dragon in attack mode! Now I activate my Blizzard Dragon special ability! What has happened to Mark and the Fortress? There's a blizzard outside right now. Your fortress is now on lockdown. My dragon's ability has frozen it so it cannot attack or change its mode until the end of your next turn. Good job, soldier. Way to buy us some time. One misery dragon will not save you. It is now my turn. I shall now activate my Mark and the Armored Unit spell card! With this spell card on the field, any time a machine-type monster is destroyed, I can summon another one from my deck as long as it has less attack points. I may not be able to attack, but I can still upgrade my forces! Now I shall upgrade my Machina Fortress with the Mage Power Equip spell! With this spell card, my fortress gains 500 attack points for every spell and trap I currently control. As you can see, I control four. Nightmare the old mind to mock in the spells and mage power. Oh no, with that power, not in a fortress now has 4,500 attack points. Almost double its original. Well, it's a good thing Soldier's Dragon prevents it from attacking this turn, so you'll just have to wait until your next turn. It does not matter. You are doomed to lose anyway. I am my turn. My turn. I summon my Thunder Drake in defense mode. Now I use my Drake's special effect. When it summons my field, I get to summon another level for monster in defense mode. So I call forth my Balloon Lizard. How cowardly. Hiding behind a wall of monsters because you are afraid to face me. I expected more from you. Now let's see what I can do. It's my turn. First, I'll set one card face down. Then I'll sacrifice my blizzard dragon to call upon my spike bot to the field! What a puny excuse for a machine! That spike bot is nothing compared to my mock in the deck! Maybe not on his own, but I've got a few tricks to boost his power. First, I'll equip him with my black pen and magic card. This spell card increases my spike bot attack points by 500. Hey, soldier, remember when you used that same trick on me in our first duel? What do you take me for, Mr. Funny Man? Of course I remember, but this time I've got one more card to add to the equation. Sounds like soldier is about to set something up here. I activate my limiter removal spell card. Uh, yeah! Limiter removal? What the hell is that? A very risky spell card. Limiter removal doubles the attack points of all a soldier's machine type monsters on his side of the field. It's a very powerful card, but it just has one cost. And what cost might that be, Spy? Spike bot, power up and attack lock in a fortress. Time to see which of our metal monsters comes out on top. I don't know what that cost is, but Spike bot has just enough attack points to destroy lock in a fortress. Crush that robot soldier! Go attack with Spike Armageddon.
Wait, soldier, what happened to Spike Bot? Why was he destroyed? Because any monster affected by limiter removal is destroyed at the end of the turn. But that's exactly what I'm counting on. Bad. Even though my Spike Bot is gone, so is my Black Pendant. And when Black Pendant goes to the graveyard, you take 500 points of damage. You have annoyed me for the last time, soldier. I activate the effect of Mortal Armored Unit. Because one of my Machinas was destroyed, I get to summon another to the field. Machina possess storage. Deploy an attack mode. And now Machina possess storage's effect activates. Now I can summon any Machina from my graveyard in defense mode. But I can't use any of its abilities! Machina Reset Engine! Deploy an attack mode! Are you finally done? Because that's it for now. I end my turn. Way to go, soldier. Thanks to you, we're just a few steps away from winning this duel. I'm afraid you are mistaken. You two have been annoying bugs to me this entire match. It is now time for you to feel true pain. With this one machine is greater than man. Since it is no longer the previous turn, I can use Resail Ranger's effect. By sending it to my graveyard, my Machina Possess Storage gains 1200 attack points for this turn. But I'm not done. It's time for you to meet the master of the Machinis. I remove Machina Gear Frame, Machina Metal Cruncher, and Machina Soldier from my graveyard. By banishing monsters from my graveyard, whose levels total to 12, I can call upon the mightiest robot you will ever lay eyes on! Soldier to South Bed, what do we do now? Keep your focus, Scout, here it comes! Crash from your slumber, Machina! Ruin force! Oh. My. Holy. Freaking. Holy stupid. Holy Mary. Mother of Joseph. Uh, Get behind me, Doctor! Oh, now would you look at that? It's beautiful. My God. Back to the ruin force. Attack and destroy, Judge Man. This will hit future cannon. I don't think so. I activate my trap card. Breathing shield. Now your attack is needed and I gain life points equal to your ruin force. A grand total of 4,600. Oh, that's capitalism. I activate my ruin force's special ability. When you activate a trap or spell during my battle phase, since spell or trap is destroyed, then you lose half of your life points. <laughs> and now, ruin force. Finish what you started and destroy a judge man and the rest of soldiers life force. <laughs> Goodbye, Red Soldier! <laughs> 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 What is this? Why aren't your life points obliterated? Why do you have more all of a sudden? Oh, I don't know, dummy. Maybe it's because of my Rainbow Life Trap card. By discarding one card, Rainbow Life changes any damage done to Soldier's life points just for this turn. You had another turn, then? You are lucky Ruin Force can only use his ability once per turn. I will not attack with Resavenger because of your trap. I end my turn. My turn? I draw! Oh man, oh, this is scary. Like, like this, this is freaking unbelievable. I'm in a duel for the sake of my team and I'm staring down a huge male monster that is gonna kill all of us if we don't wait. Wait, this is a card Spy gave me? Our man, this card can totally win the duel right now. But I can't use it yet so long as the defense perimeter is in the field. I'll just have to hold out for now. I sacrificed my Thunder Drake and my Balloon Lizard from my field to call upon my mighty Cosmo Queen in defense mode. That's all I can do for now. So I end my turn. It's my move. And with Nightmare Will gone from the field, I no longer take damage during my standby phase. First, I'll switch my Dynamite Dragon back to defense mode. Next, I'll summon my Headless Knight in defense mode, and end my turn. My turn once again! I sent the machine-type monsters from my hand to my graveyard to special summon my mark in a cannon in attack mode. For every machine monster I send to the graveyard to deploy it, Machina a cannon gains 800 attack points! Time for destruction! Machina a cannon, attack Headless Knight! And now, Machina a ruin force! Attack Cosmo Queen! 
Your forces are running thin! Your traps cannot save you! And the mightiest machine you will ever see is staring you down! Your defeat is inevitable! We're not done yet! I'll pass my turn since I can't do anything! I'm sorry, soldier. I'm really trying my best here! We're doing the best we can, Scout! So long as the American dream lives in my heart, I will continue to fight and fight and fight! I banished a headless knight from my graveyard to summon this! I summon my Gigantes in defense mode! Gigantes requires me to banish one Earth monster from my graveyard before summoning it! With that, I end my turn! How sad that all you two can do is play defense mode! Now you see that my machines are superior, now it is time to finish you both off! I'll activate the equip spell charge for immediate crush! Oh no, this is it! If one of these two doesn't do something next turn, they are finished. Fairy Meteor Crush is equipped spell. When a crit monster attacks any monster in defense mode, the difference between its attack points and the defending monster's defense points are dealt as damage. Oh crap! Oh defense mode monsters won't work anymore! I equip my Meteor Crush to my Rune Force! Red Soldier, you have been a nuisance to me this entire duel. It was you who destroyed my Machinus. For that, you will be the first to fall. Bring it on, robot! I've seen scarier robots than you! Wait, soldier, no! I can't do this without you! Listen to me, scout! You take this robot down and make us all proud! I've done what I can! The rest is up to you! I know you can do it, scout! I know you have it in you! So let it out and make me proud! Soldier, please! Don't do this! Before I go down, I have one more trick up my sleeve! When Gigantes is destroyed in battle, all spell and trap cards on your side of the field are destroyed. Destroy soldier! Can it ever run again? Here's your opening scout. Now make me proud. Oh no, soldier is down! No! Soldier lad! No, come on lad, get up! God damn it, soldier! You sit tight! I'll win this duel for both of us! For all of us! Your friend may have given you a last gift of destroying all of my spells and traps, but Ruin Force still has enough attack points to destroy you. You have one card left in your hand. Your friend's sacrifice will be in vain. Make your final move before I end you, and all your pathetic man co-friends, and show you that Capri Song will be no more. It's up to Scout now. Come on, boy, you got this. We're all right here with you. Okay, time to kick some metal butt. My turn, I draw. Not a good card. Oh, well. And your turn, so I may finish you off. You know, the entire time we've been dueling, I completely forgot about the Capri Suns. This entire time, I've been so focused on saving the base and the rest of my team. It's kind of funny, actually. I mean, come on, I'm a selfish piece of shit sometimes if I'm not around Miss Pauling or any of my buddies back at home. But yeah, I don't know what happened, but I think I finally understand now. What do you speak of? What do you understand? Your boss attacks innocent people just to try to get rid of a drink company, plants bombs in my home base, and then hurts my friend. Gray man, if you can hear me, you're a scumbag who has attacked us so much. But today you've gone too far. I'm going to end your game right now. You speak with a twisted thumb. No card in your deck can save you. You have lost, and all of your hope is gone! Fine, let me show you what I mean! I activate the magic card, Monster Reborn! So you plan to bring back your Cosmo Queen or Dragon Knight? No matter, not even any of my Machinus will be of use to you. All of your monsters don't even come close to my Machina ruling force! With the power of Monster Reborn, I resurrect an old friend from Soldier's deck, the card he has had for a long time! Come forth, the one and only Judgment! Bad monster, what could he possibly do? He's far too weak to take down my marker now. Alright, oh, fine. Time for me to use the card you gave me. I hope this works. With your defense proving to destroy thanks to soldier, I can finally use spells and traps against your ruined force. So here we go. Time to end this. I activate the spell card Mini Guts. Mini Guts is a spell card that lets me tribute one monster from my field. In exchange, one of your monster's attack points becomes a weapon zero. I tribute my alien shark trooper, and now locking a ruined force's attack goes down to nothing. Power down, you big metal freak! Oh, no. Not only is Ruin Forces attack point zero now, but Miniguts has another effect. When a monster affected by Miniguts is destroyed, you take damage equal to that monster's attack points. Error. Error. Recalculating. Recalculating. 
Finish him off! Hack the shit out of him! Once and for all! Then this scout! Madeline, for Soldier the Red Team, Capri Sun, and all the Badlands, Judge Man, Attack Mark and a Ruin Force, Final Judgment Hammer! Soldiers! Everyone! Soldiers waking up! Scout back the fuck up, you piece of shit! Give it some okay, okay. I'm sorry! Ouch, my head! Wait, everyone, what happened? Did we win? Yes, soldier, we won. And it's all thanks to you. No, Scout. It's all thanks to us, as a team. Gray Man definitely caught us by surprise, but at least we were able to get everyone back inside safe and sound. Wait a minute. What about the bombs? How long was I out for? I have so many questions, it feels like that brain maggot is back to chew my brain out. Don't worry about the bombs. Spy managed to find them and toss them out before they could detonate. And Sniper is okay as well. That robot spy from the floor must have deactivated the response system as well. Medic and I just got it back online, but it'll take a while to fully reboot back to 100%. Your vitals are okay, but the repairs on your body are still slow since the respawn engines just came back online about 20 minutes ago. You should be able to get up in about an hour, soldier. We'll go ahead and let you rest now, soldier. Come on, everyone. Let's go check on them, sniper. Hey soldier, I gotta say again, but you and I made one hell of a team today. I couldn't have won that duel without your help. You definitely kicked around that didn't get a lot more than I did. You were right before Scout. This whole thing may have been my fault, but I hope I at least was able to help somewhat. Somewhat, you idiot! You did so much of the dueling for me! I mean, if it wasn't for you, I don't think it'd be able to even last one turn. You made me proud, Scout. Great job out there. We really showed that robot son of a bitch who's boss. Thanks, soldier. I'm gonna go check on Sniper with the others to you in a bit. We're making steak tonight to celebrate our victory. Ah, yes! A victory celebration! I cannot wait of all the fireworks and lights and American flags everywhere. Oh, it will be an amazing victory for us. And that was the last time I ever had regular beer. Whiskey forever, I always say. I keep saying this, but I really need to lean you off that alcohol devil man. It's not good for you. You only said that because I didn't agree with you about your favorite Fallout factions and fast food restaurant! Heavy to this day still believes Demoman fights better with his alcohol. It's kind of his icon weapon though, his horrible death perception. I don't know how he bloody uses it. I don't know either, mate. I just have it in me, I guess. The more scrumpy, the better, to be honest. Since he's chucking grenades everywhere, does he really need to aim? Yeah, I know, right? He might as well just spin in a circle like he did that one time. You're lying! I've never spun in a circle in one spot before! Oh, that's definitely well, not true! Kind of yeah, you did demo! Yes, you have demo! It's okay to admit it! You literally do it all the I time! I fucking hate you guys! Alright, boys, settle down! Beer's up! A toast to Scout and Soldier for their hard fought duel today! To, to Soldier and Scout! Scout. Scout. So, Scout! Soldier, what do you think we should do with the Capri Suns? Honestly, I haven't even thought about it. I have an idea, if you may. What if you save one pouch, deliver it to the founder of CEO of Capri Sun, so they can re-begin production? What could that one pouch do? I'm certain Capri Sun lost their recipes when Green Man destroyed all the factories. If we re-deliver the recipe to them, they can begin production in no time. Okay, that sounds like a great idea. Thanks, Spy. But as for the rest of them, I think we should continue to enjoy them. Oh, hey, Spy. Thanks for the card, by the way. It really saved me. All of us. Don't mention it. Your deck was alright, but it obviously wasn't prepared for the worst. I'm sorry for bothering you about coming back to dueling, Spy. If you don't want to come back, you don't have to. I appreciate that, Scout. Good work out there today. You and Soldier did well. What card did you give him anyway? I assume it was that many guts card. The final one Scout played. Isn't it the same one Spy used to defeat Scout in one turn with? What the fuck, Spy? You told everyone ah! about that! <laughs> fuck you! Fuck all of you! I swear to fuck, I hate this team! 